Well, the pandemic changed the rules of socializing and making friends. And mental health experts say now is the time to rebuild and reshape your life with supporting friendships. KTV 4 Cynthia Yip reports. For Mililani resident Jennifer Devera Turda, during the pandemic, she was busy at home schooling her now 10 year old son. In 2022, as the world opened up, she felt a disconnect between the slower pace during the pandemic and the faster pace in the world now. 2021, I suppose, was really the year where everybody was finally getting settled into being in a pandemic and not having the usual things we're used to having like going out and visiting friends and family. And suddenly now we are all doing it and we don't really know how to do it anymore. <laughs> We're trying to get used to it again. As we emerge from the pandemic lockdowns, the rules of socialization and making friends have dramatically changed. And for some, that has led to isolation and depression. What COVID did, is it took our human instinct to connect and basically directed us to halt that instinct or to pause that instinct with not only the people we really cared about, but even everyday people we become in contact with. We need to learn and relearn in this case how to shake each other's hands, how to connect over a common experience or story. She has this advice for 2023. Having healthy connections gives us a better chance of being healthy living longer, being happier, and even having better financial success. So it's worth your time to retrain yourself to rekindle those friendships and be social again. As for Jennifer, these are her New Year goals. Going to the gym, socializing more, spending more time with girlfriends, you know, and self-care. And that is good advice for all of us. Cynthia Yip, KITV4 Island News.